with back-to-back -back winning records in the 22-year history of the franchise. Newton deep to the end zone, wide open. Touchdown, Ted Ginn. You see Dante Whitner lost in the middle of the field. I have no idea what he's seeing with the speedy Ginn. Ted Ginn going right down the field. You're going to see Whitner get back to the post. Get depth against Ted Ginn. The man can run. There he goes deep down the field. And a beautiful throw. No one's going to catch Ginn. He's going all the way for the touchdown. 88 yards. Cam Newton put it right on the money. And the Panthers with their second touchdown of the quarter. Well, we've been talking all day about how long they throw the football down the field. Here he is, Ted Ginn, just going to go right down the middle of the field. And Cam Newton, once again, just hangs in there. No pressure, leads him across the field is what you want to do, not up the field. And Ted Ginn, we saw one earlier. Maybe he dropped the deep pass down the left side sideline earlier but his speed is undeniable and tj carey just cannot keep up with it he's gonna win every foot race in the league if he gets one on one down here newton's looking that way and now fires for ginn downfield touchdown ted ginn and just like that carolina back on top newton's got four on the day and just continues to prove he can beat you in a number of ways. Yeah, but he's going to run this, and what they're going to try to do is cover him then with Anthony down the middle, and that's not going to work. It's just a good play call by Mike Shula. They get a matchup problem. They don't play man coverage, what initially looked like it was going to be. Newton again going deep down the right side. Complete and inbounds. Really nice grab from Ted Ginn. Ginn back in Carolina after one year out in the desert with Arizona. Well, he's working against the rookie, Ron Darby. Big hard inside move by Ginn, and Darby gets his head around, and that's a great catch by Ginn right along the sidelines. Time and airing it out, looking for Ginn. He's got it. There's a flag, but he's going to go. Touchdown, and let's wait on the penalty. 74 yards if it stands. It's going to be on the defense. I think they're getting him for illegal contact or a hold, but I think the same official missed the offensive PI on Teddy Ginn throwing that right arm out there. Illegal contact, defense number 23. This penalty is required as a result of the play. Touchdown. Watch the illegal contact early, Kevin. Good call, but keep going on this play. Now watch this. The oh, right arm separation. You're right. It's what Ted Ginn brings to the table, though, that blow the top off the defense speed. He's had his drops, but Cam Newton keeps throwing to him because he can do that to a defense. Got no points. Now second and ten for New Orleans. Down the middle, deep. Ginn caught inside the 30. The former Panther. Touchdown, New Orleans. safety in the middle of the field here he's going to work he's trying to get over the top to give help to his corner to michael thomas and when he goes over the top to the boundary it opens up the middle of the field 
and James Bradbury not able to fall back into that with his receiver running across the field. By the way, so if that's the case, they don't have to go too much farther. The Breeze going for it. Forget the field goal. Fifty four yards to Ted Ginn. The one thing you can't let happen as a defense in that situation is to get beat deep. And Atlanta gave it up right before the half. Breeze airs it out. Ginn downfield. He's got it. Pushed down inside the 15. At the two-minute warning. They were stripping the ball loose, forcing fumbles, interceptions. Now Breeze trying to put the dagger. And does. It is a touchdown for Ted Ginn Jr. You know, in the scout report with Ted Ginn Jr. is he can still stretch the field. Justin Evans got caught looking at the quarterback. His feet were planted, and if Ted Ginn's running at you full speed with your feet or planted, if you're even with him, he's leaving with